Welcome fifth graders. We are going to start from our study of the Klingit tribes in the Northwest. We're going to continue that and follow in a tradition of pottery making that many of the Native American tribes um, were involved in. All right, now, in order for them to um, utilize pot, store water, store food, cooking, and things like that, they created their own pottery from the muds uh, uh, that were available along the coastlines and in various areas. And they would fire their pots, baking them at high temperatures, uh, usually in a mound in the ground and with some firewood, animal dung they would burn with, and they would create their pottery that way. All right, so we're going to follow in that tradition. All right, first of all, we're going to learn some basic hand building techniques that to use when you are creating a, um, a small pot. Now, this little pot we, we created both using the pinch method and the coil method. All right, first step is you need to get your ball of clay, and it is always important with your clay that you wedge this clay. Okay, now the clay has been wedged probably a little bit before, but when you wedge clay, you are, your purpose is to eliminate any air holes or air bubbles or anything like that that's in the inside of the clay. Any trapped air bubbles will cause some breakage or um, uh, the air is trying to escape. So in order for it to escape, it may blow itself out the side. So what we want to do is wedge it a little bit. Now that does not require you to pound it hard onto the surface, throwing it and things like that. Just give it a little shove and turn, shove and turn. Uh, and then you can create that. Now we're going to make a bowl and we're going to do a pinch pot method and the coil method. And so I'm going to take out some clay like so. Maybe a fourth of the clay over here I'm going to set onto the side. And then I'm going to make my pinch pot. Now to make a pinch pot, I want to kind of form it into a ball. I'm going to just put it in between my two hands like so and maybe tap it a little bit creating a nice ball shape. Okay, then I'm going to pinch out the center. Pinch, turn, pinch, turn. Okay, now this is uh, an effective way to create a nice bowl. Now what I do find sometimes students will do is they get a little carried away. They keep going and going and pinching very hard and then they're like, oh, ugh, I can't seem to get the walls to stay up. Okay, don't get carried away. Don't over pinch. Just, and if you do, no big deal. Wad it back up. Start again. Form that ball. Wedge it just a little bit. No air bubbles. Okay, now, next, pinch out the center. Okay, I'm going to pinch out this nice center. Create this nice bowl. Keep the walls about the, the width of your fingers or even bigger. This is a nice thing. If I tap it on the, uh, the surface here, it gives it a nice flat bottom. And if I tap it like this, it makes the sides and the walls nice and even. Okay, now that's my pinch pot part. I'm going to add now some coils. And coils are like little snakes. Okay, you can roll them between your hands. You can roll them like this. If I go this way as I'm rolling, it will kind of lengthen that go over the areas that are a little bit thicker and basically just create a nice log, snake, anything like that. All right, now we're well, going to add it to your pinch pot bowl here. Whenever you add clay to clay, you have to score it, okay? It is important. The clay is going to dry out and shrink. And if things are not attached well, they will fall off. So give it a little moisture, not too much moisture. That makes it too slimy. And then add your coil. That one's not quite long enough, but I can add a small one there. Now you're going to start building up with some coils and making it taller. Now when I'm adding coils like this, if I add them towards the outside, it's going to make my bowl a little bit more wide out this way. But if I add them in the center, towards the center, I'm going to be starting to build up a kind of closing in to make a narrow opening. It's really up to you which direction you'd like to go with it. All right, now I'm going to make another one here. Score, score, score. And when you're scoring, you just need to use any kind of tool that will kind of rough up the surface, okay? Any of those that are available to in the, in the tray that you have at your table. 
will work really well. All right, score, score, score. A little moisture. You can use moisture with your sponge as well. And add that in. I'm going to have mine go kind of a little bit inward. I kind of like that idea. And you might have enough clay for maybe about three coils. The clay I give you, I'm giving you a generous amount, so there really won't be any extras to give you, otherwise it gets a little bit carried away and the bowls get a little bit large for what we are needing them for. All right, so I'm making another coil. I'm going to score it all up. Give it some moisture. This is nice soft clay and it actually will join up nicely together. Okay. And if I've got a little bit of a low point, I can kind of add some clay to kind of create that point. Now I'm going to kind of compress these sides together. And on my next point is to use some of my tools. Now I've got a bunch of different uh, tools like this, um, even this one here, to join the coils together. And all I'm doing here is just sliding downward or upward. I could even use my, the greatest tool of all is my thumb, and be working it that way. Okay, join, 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 all the way around, join, 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 all the way on the inside too. Just use that tool, slide those things together. Now this might get a little bit messy, kind of be gentle with it, support the outside if you need to with your hand, and just basically work to join it, to smooth it. You can smooth it out very nicely with your fingers. Um, give it a little bit of moisture. Now I caution you, do not make a, a real slimy situation here with too much water, but you can dab up excess water with the sponge and then you can smooth. Now it's great to smooth. I got a couple of tools that I can use to smooth. This is a rib and this is a rib and either one of those will work really nice to smooth out your pot. You can also utilize, if I have them handy, some of the paddles. Paddles work really nicely. If you tap just gently you can get a really nice shape going and you can, if it's your pot is a little lopsided, you can kinda tap out some of the the different um, sides there. Okay, so now I'm about done with that one. I'm just going to bring this one in here that I was working on earlier. And now I've got it all smoothed out. I got it all what I want on it. Um, now I can add some designs, okay? Uh, we can't just have ut utilitarian pottery. We'd like to have it decorative too. Something very interesting. You got to work with it every day. You got to fill your water uh, every day and use it for your cereal or whatever you want it decorative so you are welcome to use any of the tools that you have at your disposal to create some designs okay there's some that have a little bit of a texture to them that might be kind of cool okay give it some texture maybe uh, anything like that if you want something on the inside you can do that as well all right last step is you're gonna ask mrs. Davidson now I know at your age you can write your initials but um, I do sometimes have s troubles reading them so um, ask mrs. Davidson and we will put your initials in the bottom and your grade level in your class name there and then we'll be putting them on the table on the board to dry out. Now these are going to take about a week to dry out um, and then you can um, and then we will glaze them. We'll apply some glaze like we have done before uh, inside and out. This one's just plain but we'll have all sorts of colors that we can use to create these and glaze them and um, finish them up. Now once you're all done clean up, put your cloth back, put your tools in the center in the tray and then this clay pottery will go on the on the board to be put away okay and then we'll clean up that's it for the, our clay demonstrations thanks for listening